So if you have watched my last vlog, I have already introduced you to Vapor. You can see, I have a very naughty pet. And uh, today I'm going to talk about human canine bonding. <laughs> and also give you certain information, useful information on how to maintain a good health of your pet. So please watch till the end and enjoy. Human canine bonding. Human canine bonding is the relationship between dogs and human. For centuries, dogs have been considered man's best friend. On average, females tend to have more positive attitude towards dogs as opposed to males. But in my case, I am lucky enough that my husband and I both have positive attitude towards them. Also, I have come across few writings where it says that both dogs and human releases oxytocin while spending time together. This release of oxytocin is nothing but a hormone which is correlated with the formation of a strong social bond. A hormone which is associated with not only happiness but bonding and affection. And this bonding can be strengthened with the quantity and quality of time you spend together. Dog's social impact on human is especially significant for those who tend to be more isolated such as children with no sibling or any elderly person who is lonely. Dog or any animal is part of our community and is an important determinant for any psychological well-being. They reduce stress, anxiety and can even prolong a human's lifespan. Keeping all this in mind, we were trying to get a pet at our home since long after Adi turned one year. Before getting wafer at home, my husband tried contacting many owners who put up their pets for adoption. Guess we were not lucky enough that time to get them to our home. But finally, we decided to get one from pet shop. And hence, wafer became a part of our family and the members increased from 3 to 4. But do you think only getting them home can give you all happiness? No, absolutely not. You really need to take good care of them so that they remain healthy and active always as you can see how Wafer is in the videos. If you have watched my last vlog, you would know Wafer was in Kolkata for few months. And with the hot and humid climatic nature of Kolkata, Wafer got some skin rashes which resulted in hair loss in patches on his legs. I got quite worried and consulted the vet. With his knowledge, I got to learn that these are quite common phenomenon among dogs. With proper nutritional supplements and using proper dry and itchy skin shampoos, it, it can be well treated. I will share what all supplements I use for wafer and how I care for his healthy skin and coat. Here comes his star coat which is enriched with 3 essential fatty acids, omega 3, 6, 9 and is a very good supplement for your pet skin, joint and overall immune system. A 500 ml bottle which cost me around 700 as wafer's weight is below 20 kg so I give him 2.5 ml twice per day after me. Next is the Peta Pro which is a multivitamin syrup and I use this supplement from day 1 when I got wafer. A 500 ml bottle would cost you around 410 if you order from Amazon. 2.5 ml is what I give to wafer according to his body weight. This is Nutrich tablet which was prescribed by vet for some additional nutrients to wafer's diet if he had any kind of deficiency and needs to be continued for a month and then discontinued. The bottle contains 30 tablets, one tablet each day. It has to be diluted in water and feed them in liquid form after meal. This costs me around 215 rupees. SkyCal is a calcium supplement which is very essential for your pet's strong bones. A uh, 200ml bottle would cost you around 160 rupees as Wafer is not an adult dog yet so I give him 5ml twice daily after meal. All of the syrups that I have mentioned that is Peta Pro, Star Coat and SkyCal can be used round the year for overall good health of your pet. But all of these medicated supplements are very common and can be recommended by the vet or even the pet product seller. 
what is not known to many of us is that using a small amount of virgin coconut oil to your dog's food and massaging it to their skin and coat before a bath can enhance their glossiness of the coat and is also good for dry and flaky skin. Just to start and make them habituated, you can add one fourth of a teaspoon of virgin coconut oil to their food and therefore increase it to half teaspoon after few weeks. With passing months, you can notice the change in their coat. I have just started it and I can already feel the changes when I touch wafer's coat. Do try this and put your comments below once you see the changes. I hope all this were quite a good and useful information for all the pet owners. Please like and subscribe my channel if you find it helpful. Also enjoy some Adi Vapor fun time. Happy watching. Ha <laughs> ha